What's going on everybody? Chase with IDub Hockey here today with Tanner, who's the associate brand manager of Sticks for Bauer Hockey at the Ice in Paradise Rink in Santa Barbara, California. About to take the first look at the new Agent Stick. Before we hop into it, give me a little bit of backstory on this line, especially since now moving forward, we just have the Nexus and the Vapor line. Yeah, so the innovation line, this will be the kickoff with Bauer Agent. So with the drop of Supreme, we have our Nexus and Vapor lines. And really what that does by dropping Supreme is we know that that play has gone away and it's moving to a faster style. So we told our R&D teams we want them to focus all their time into a line of sticks along with Nexus and Vapor. It allows them to have more time to put into this technology and then bring it to the marketplace and it's super exciting. Well, let's take a look at that technology. Is it finally time to unveil the agent stick? It's time. Let's take a look. This is the first time you're holding and seeing it, everything. Holy cow. That is so light. I mean, <laughs> the graphics are incredible. I mean, how light is this? So this is the world's lightest hockey stick. I'm mean, at 335 grams. <laughs> you could note, and the balance on it too is- It's, it's incredible, yeah. Exceptional. I mean, the graphics package too is just absolutely phenomenal. So got a lot of hits of green on here. The five is really catching my eye on here, especially with that XC taper, obviously driven from that vapor line, but walk me through it here. This is incredible. So the biggest issue that we have with lightweight sticks, if it comes to mind, what would you say is an issue? Material? It'd be material and durability, right? right? So how can we achieve durability with such a lightweight stick? The material that we're using, it's been classified up to this point. Mm -hmm. We're using a boron fiber built by specialty materials. So what boron is, is a natural occurring element in the universe, right? It's in soil, it's in earth. What they can do is extract that and put into an application that reinforces lightweight objects. Mm -hmm. So it's really designed for a defense mechanism. So in aircraft, so think of fighter jets, B-1 bombers, where we're actually able to take this fiber and place it into this stick to reinforce the actual structure. So unlike a resin system, it's actually the fiber working with the natural carbon fiber that you use in the sticks already, right? So we're actually, we're using carbon and the boron layering. Interesting. So what boron is really good at doing is it's increasing compression strength. So when you're taking a shot, you think of a flex. So the front side of your stick is under tension. Right. The back side is under compression. So what boron does really well is it increases the compression strength. So when you talk about a lightweight stick, a lot of pressure is happening on impacts when you're accepting passes, taking shots. So the boron fiber is actually going to increase the strength in all situations. So can you compare this to the durability, the strength of maybe past innovation series, just to give us a benchmark on how much more improved the strength is on that boron? Yeah, I mean, we're always trying to take that next step. We're not trying to regress anyway. Yeah. So the stick is gonna come out of durability that you would see in our ADV lines. Mm -hmm. The other piece I wanna talk about is actually the name, the color, the different technology. So even down to the actual graphic itself. So you can see that we stopped grip in the taper area. Oh, yeah. so the thought process was that we want to be able to reduce weight anywhere that we can. So stopping the grip early, we introduced a nice little transition between gloss and matte to really bring back to that stealth fighter feel. Using the boron fiber, they're using it in air in airspace. So we want to bring that back into the graphic. And you take a look at the number five, the color green. There's a, a process called pyrolysis. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get a little nerdy, but we'll bring it back into this. So when you burn boron, it actually burns that color green. <laughs> so when you talk about Easter eggs, the number five relates back to the periodic table. Boron is number five on the periodic table. Oh, nice. Agent goes back, it's an alloying agent. So we're binding oh, yeah. boron with the carbon fiber. It's actually a little homage to the actual boron itself. Agent's the secret agent behind the process that allows us to get to that weight. And I do like how there are warning signs included too, because especially at this weight, and I wanna talk about maybe the responsiveness and performance of the shooting too, that you might sc score more goals with this, right? Exactly, so it says warning may, may cause more goals. Yeah. And so again, it's a little feedback into the stealth fighter. When you look at planes, it says no step on the wing next to all the missiles. So it's a kind of a fun way to play on that. Yep. But then the piece that you talked about was shooting. So we're actually integrating boron into the blade itself. So again, talk about compression and tension. The front of the face is gonna be under tension. The back of the face is gonna be under compression. So when you talk about the way that the stick's gonna recoil, it's not in the lightest stick that we've ever produced or lightest stick in the world. You're gonna be able to get to the zero to 60 for shot six miles an hour. Mm -hmm. It'll be faster with this stick versus any other stick we've ever produced. Uh -huh. It has the fastest zero to max velocity of any stick that we've ever made. 
And, and that's due, sorry, that's due to the boron being able to handle that compression really well and then release the puck. So it's that recoiling action after you've loaded the stick that is just improving your shooting speed, I guess, right? Exactly. Yeah. And so, you know, let's let's get a little more nerdy here because obviously we're all big gearheads. Is what what about the puck? Uh, the puck feel, the blade construction, you know, if I've been a vapor player my whole entire life, is this gonna feel somewhat similar? I know it's a completely different stick from top to bottom, but is it more on that stiff lively side or is it more dampened like the Nexus and the Supreme line? So it isn't actually taper, so it's gonna react like a vapor stick. Mm -hmm. What we've found is that players, I would say, if they're in a Nexus construction, when they use the stick, they come back and say, what is this thing? <laughs> right, just because the way the puck comes off the blade, it does have a responsive feel to it, a quick little snappy feel because of the boron integration into it. But players love it. Like, it's just a, such a special stick. I mean, from the graphic to the way that feels, and you guys just have to shoot to feel it. And I know you're going to feel it when you do shoot it. Uh, but the feedback is that it's super special. Yeah, that's a, I've been bugging you all day to try and open up this bag, get in yeah. here so I can get out and shoot with it because just it, it sounds truly remarkable. and. I really like how Boron is just a different approach to what you guys have done in the past, if I'm not mistaken, right? As far Absolutely, as making yeah. uh, the stick lighter. So is there anything else that we've covered? I mean, it's it's just exceptional, but is there anything that I might maybe missed that you'd like to point out too? No, I think once you get a chance to be able to look at everything, like the different textures in the taper, it really is an art piece. The new glitch chrome that we're using, the naming, the different call-outs on the stick. I mean, the biggest thing that we wanted to achieve is that when players look to invest in their performance, they need to know that they're actually gonna have a stick that's durable and can last and do what they want it. So with Boron Fiber, that's the way that we could achieve this weight. And mm -hmm. it's only exclusive Bauer. Right. So any other company can't touch this product. So for us to have exclusive rights to Boron, be able to put that in hockey sticks, um, it's another feather in our cap, but we wanna be able to have players play their best. Uh, Innovation Series just allows us to put more time into this specific product to bring the best to the market. Well, thank you so much for coming out to California and filling us in on this new agent stick. But I gotta get out here. I gotta get this in my hands, tape it up and start shooting with it. Can't wait for you to feel it. Well, for you at home, I wanna check out more of these incredible sticks from Bauer Hockey. Make sure you head over to icewarehouse.com.